Academy here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about using Waves Tune. And uh, we're actually going to switch gears a little bit. Instead of using Pro Tools today, we're going to be using Digital Performer. Uh, the reason for this is because I took uh, Jacob's advice and sent my Pro Tools in to get it refurbed. Um, if you watched a couple episodes ago, uh, you might know that I had a problem with my Pro Tools showing some sort of code uh, on my main counter instead of bars and beats. Uh, so hopefully they send that to me uh, in a timely fashion so I can get back to using Pro Tools, uh, real man's DAW. But instead, I'm, I'm using Digital Performer, uh, and I have a sequence up that I'm going to use Waves Tune on. Uh, this is something that I wrote uh, based on a, a poem that I wrote. Um, so we'll hear it in, in due time, but basically I've got a vocal track here, a lead vocal, that I'm going to use Waves Tune on. Uh, so let me go ahead and insert that plug-in. Okay. And uh, the way Waves Tune works is that you have to let the entire sequence play from start to finish uh, exactly the start and all the way to the finish uh, so that it senses all the audio. Uh, and this is going to be a lead vocal that Waves Tune is sensing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and play it and let it sense. And the reason I stopped playback a little bit early, as you can see, is because there was no more remaining audio. So there was no reason to continue playing back. All right, so we can see here that uh, Waves Tune has sensed the audio. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select all go to export MIDI choose a uh, place to save the the MIDI file preferably the desktop and uh, let's see if it's saved alright there we go that's my MIDI file alright now I need to create a MIDI track and just like Pro Tools, we scroll up to the uh, correct menu up here, Add Track. Project menu is the equivalent of the Track menu in Pro Tools. So we're going to go with a uh, MIDI track. That's MIDI one right there. And uh, my destination MIDI instrument, I have Sample Tank 3 open. Uh, what channels am I not using? One. Okay, I'm going to use channel 5, I think. Oops. 
So for part five of Sample Tank, I think I'm going to pick probably an oboe. This might need a little smoothing over. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply go to the desktop and drag this MIDI file into my song. And I'm going to move it to the correct place, of course. And get rid of my vocal track cuz I don't need it anymore. And let's hear how it sounds. Okay, it sounds like it could use um, a little transposition. It sounds a little bit low. It's actually below the range of the oboe. So we're going to go to the transpose. And there appears to be four options here. Uh, I'm just going to play eeny, meeny, miny, mo a little bit because they're all pretty much the same. I'm going to go to interval. And here we go. And actually, I, I kind of feel like in order to get a more realistic effect, uh, some of this needs to be quantized a little bit. So it's pretty much the same thing as Pro Tools. Um, go up to the equivalent of the event uh, menu, which is region. Go to quantize. And it's pretty much the exact same menu, I'm sure you guys realize. I'm going to hit quantize, let's see what that sounds like. sound is. Let's take a look at the uh, MIDI editor.
out to help things. Give it a second here. It's got to load up the buffer. All right. And I think that probably fixed the problem. And the next logical step is to harmonize this melody. And if you know anything about music theory, uh, you realize that this song is in a certain key, of course. Um, so we're going to harmonize it diatonically by going to transpose. And instead of simply transposing the notes, we're going to add a, a layer of notes. And so um, I think... This is in the key of G whole tone. But we're going to harmonize it down by three scale degrees because chords in Western harmony are built in thirds. Um, so it's going to be harmonized down a third. And we do not want to constrain the scale because not every note in this melody is necessarily a chord tone. Uh, so we're going to hit apply and see how that sounds. Okay. Uh, next, we are going to apply a real time or mini plugin that is going to um, add a certain sort of flutteriness to it um, and to feel sort of jittery anxious uh, and I, I feel like probably for this song 30 second note value is what we want to do And, yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay. That is not really what I was going for. Solo that. And slowly add the other components of the song together. What we're going to do is arrange this thing. not really sure that I liked uh, what I ended up doing. I think I think the better route production wise is to instead of harmonizing that just go ahead and transpose it. Um, let's pick another random one here. Um, 
and and treat this as a harmonization with the vocal. Well, that's why my levels were way too low down here. All right, that's what we need to do. I've got this cranked way too high. What I'm trying to do now is stop all sound and mini notes. Alright, so let's see how this song ends. So we've just explored the various possibilities of uh, arrangement and music production using Wavestune. Uh, thanks, everybody. Stay tuned. <laughs>